Well guys, I got this post hole digger for free. Uh, I don't know if it works, but we're putting some gear oil in here. Looks like it was a little, so far it looks like maybe a whole quart. We'll find out. So that's a whole quart. And I don't see anything in that hole. So I had to move this up this way, this way to help lift it because it was on the floor, guys. And let me tell you, man, it's a booger. Um, when you're out here by yourself trying to hook up these, these implements that require really two people to, to do it or three people. Hey guys, I did a lot of research on JNS Foundry in Dewey, Oklahoma. And amazing that I really didn't go into depth um, on stuff. Just a quick uh, different searches that I did throughout the internet and found out that um, a lot of people that had been to the Korean War had been employed uh, by JNS Foundry and um, I found another auger in uh, Purple Wave and other than that that's all I could find on these augers uh, not a lot of uh, stuff out there on these augers um, but I do know one thing the gearbox is good and we're gonna end up just putting a auger from Tractor Supply Again, it's really, really interesting, the research. A uh, bunch of military guys that had come back after the Korean War and ended up going and working for this manufacturer. These people were born in the 1920s and 1930s. Um, really, really interesting uh, uh, finding the amount of people that were in the Korean War and ended up working at this big, huge manufacturer. Um, all right, guys. Well, I'll keep you posted. Follow along. Well, guys, let's see if this thing works. This thing hasn't been turned on for years, guys. Let's see it. Oh, wow. Not even a sound, guys. Listen to that. about that I'm going to let it run let that oil lube up stand by guys let's uh, go take a little tiny hole the guy trenched the rolling gate entrance here and rebar in there they went in 20 inches deep on this one uh, a foot and a quarter wide and then we're going to put piers uh, along this fence line. So here we're going to put uh, piers where the rolling gate comes. We're going to have pipes in the base here. Every three feet we're going to put a pipe. Uh, cement then we're going to use a two and a half or a two inch square tubing sitting on top of those pipes as as the base for the slide for it to roll. So like piers, just like a bridge, and the gate will roll in those on top of that pipe with a little small angle iron top. And hopefully it'll go good, guys. All right, I'll bring you back. Stand by. Well, let's see what this thing's made out of.
look at the uh, the blades. Well, guys, after uh, an hour of research and uh, viewing everything on the internet, this thing is not even made anymore. That's a uh, um, a weird uh, tip. I remember we probably had one of these when I was probably 15 or 14. That was 30, 40 years ago. And this stuff's not even made anymore. So, um, can't even find the replacements. This thing's, so these things have been pushed to the limit. The blade even has a, a, a lip on it and yeah these things aren't made anymore uh, guys this was a jns uh, head i mean it's weird it's it, just a pin that goes past through there on the on the two inch bar um you know unfortunately i can get them at uh, tractor supply for 160 70 dollars for a 12 inch auger and uh my brother has two of them i called him and he says come pick it up um so that's what I'm going to end up doing. This, like I said, this thing, they don't even make it anymore. So um, I'll just end up buying a, an auger or using my brother. So I'm going to need one, so I'll probably end up buying one. But um, we're going to get her done. Guys, thanks a lot for following along. Um, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so. Um, we really appreciate your support. All right, guys, stand by.